I'll show you how to get these braids. Okay. For free. Free. You know why it's for free? Because you're going to do it. <laughs> Hi guys, this is Miss Femi here. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome, welcome, and thank you so much to my current subscribers. As you can see, I'm back with another hairstyle. Last video you guys saw, I had this nice curly afro wig on. It was a DIY, so today I'm back with another DIY. Really easy and fast to do. But if it's your first time here, don't forget to um, take a look see what's on my channel if it's what you're liking consider to become part of this family by subscribing i would really appreciate that and for every one of you don't forget to like subscribe share and comment you already know i would appreciate that so much but guys look at the background the background is new do you like the background? I'm sitting on my couch. So let me know if you guys like this background, maybe when I'm doing like um, that hair video. I could so let's get back right to the video why you are here. Like I said, today I'm going to show you how I get these braids. Okay. As always, everything used in this video will be listed in the description bar below so you can have an idea what you need in order for you to achieve this style but the most important things that you will need are the rubber bands the hair some type of gel and a crochet needle i got this hair from a beauty supply store in my house i always wash the hair before i do any type of twisting braiding because the chemical that process the hair will cause my hair to fall out so much and break um, and caused me to break out on my face as well this here um, I need to stop saying um this here <laughs> was a kinky texture here so I added some moisturizing cream in order for me to make the hair a bit softer you can get any braiding hair from Amazon or a beauty supply store near, near your house um not only that i added the moisturizer to make the hair soft but i wanted to keep my my own hair moisturized in the braids okay i moisturized my hair two days prior to doing this style look guys i also cut my hair again i don't know if you guys remember last time i cut the back of my hair <laughs> but i cut it again so what i did i section my hair in different little parts so it could be more manageable for me to do the the braiding method with the rubber band you definitely going to need some gel in order for you to keep your natural hair behave okay but guys let me try to see how i can explain to you uh, um how i achieved the knotless method with the rubber band the way you go in the position to position the rubber band is the most important part okay so do not you see how i'm put my hand down make sure the the hair it's laying down it's not standing up you see how the hair on this side over there is not like um it's laying on my on my the side of my face so make sure you position the rubber band so you could lay flat so the hair don't spin i don't know if i'm explaining it um well for you to understand but what i'm saying is that okay when you do hair when you use rubber band on your on your hair it just if you keep your hand straight upward the hair or the little section will stand up so that one on the side of my neck it's laying down so that's how you're going to get the hair the braids to lay down flat as well okay hopefully i did a good job but look at how the hair is flat it's because how i positioned the rubber band all right i deleted the other part that i really wanted to show you how i did the rubber band thing but sorry about that hopefully you understand what i was trying to say um right now i'm showing you you see how like the two pieces of hair they are different size so make sure they're not the same size okay one's going to be 
a um, little bit skinnier thinner and then the other one will be more because once you put the hair through your um that little portion of here once you once you add it together it will be the same size as the other one and make sure that when you unravel your twist you don't have to twist the hair because i twist the hair because i didn't want it to be all over the place so once you're about to to braid the hair make sure your own hair is equally divided into the braiding hair so you don't have um some part skinny some part not skinny so it could look just like that one okay you see that's the skinny one so the skinny one i put it together so the thick one it will not be it will, it will i will just use it individually you know what i mean okay you know what i mean also the rubber method is a bit time consuming compared to the traditional way that's why i did the other half of my head the the, the traditional way but just in case you have two options if you want to do the traditional way whichever whichever way is easier for you so you would have options okay girl you see how i divide the hair like equally to the braiding hair and as you can see the thick um hair it's it's separate in it on its own section so that's why i'm saying like the the skinny one you guys understand you guys understand what i'm saying and that's the gel that i'm using just to keep the hair my own hair smooth within the braiding hair and guys when you switch over or flip over the braid still braid in the same position because if you do not braid in the same position you will have a lot okay as no i am not big on edges i've expressed it many times i don't know who told me to leave all this hair in the front of my hair out <laughs> and when you're going out when i go out i have to do the front of my my hair and i'm not really big on edges which is annoying so if you're not big on edges don't leave all that hair in the front of the hair in the front of my hair it's not short so it's annoying it's annoying it's just annoying so i'm doing it one more time and also the rubbery method is a bit tight and you guys know i don't like tight hair at all i do not tie hair at all so um i end up doing the rest of my hair the other part of my hair the traditional way like i've mentioned it was easier for me it was one two three okay for me to finish and it's not like i did the fitting method as uh, because i was doing my hair big and i didn't need to do all these steps okay and my hair is thick if you have thick hair it's going to save you a lot of time so you will need just to divide the hair in three sections and after you um before you add your gel make sure the hair the roots of the hair is nice and tuck in and for me i you have to braid first okay so braid the hair a little bit maybe two times three times and then on the fourth time right and then that's when you pick the hair i started with the bigger piece of hair first some people start with the smaller but i start with the bigger one because listen i didn't have the time so again you braid your hair three times on the fourth time you add the first piece of hair and then you braid two times on the third time you add the second piece of hair in my case the first piece the second piece was the thinner one and the first one was the thicker one so it's about good timing because if you braid the, sec the second time you braid the hair with the first piece and then you do maybe like four times then it will look detached from the from the first time you added the first strength um the first piece of hair you don't want that because i didn't have the time to do the fitting method which this little piece little piece little piece little piece no 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 so if i was doing my hair smaller then okay i may have done that but since i was doing the big you can do that you can get away with that okay i don't know if you would like to see uh there are many videos on youtube that will teach you how to do that so 
maybe you can look at some other videos or maybe let me know if you want me to teach you how to do the knotless method i don't mind i can use my mannequin my mannequin head and guys if you find this video helpful and you're enjoying it please smash the like button i would really appreciate that give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below what you think <laughs>